Hi guys, my name is Bill, and what I want to do is show you how to test the compressor on your refrigerator. Alright, so what I have here is a brand new compressor. Just a standard compressor. They're all about the same for most top freezers and side-by-sides. Now these are AC compressors. Now some new refrigerators are variable speed. Now, and you'll know that because most every compressor has a relay and a capacitor on it. If you don't have something that looks like this plugged into the side, if you have a great big box that's probably three, four times the size of that connected to the side of your compressor, then it's a variable speed compressor and it's going to be a little bit different to test. But for testing purposes, we're just going to use a standard compressor that's on most every refrigerator, especially older ones. And an ohm reading on these three little terminals right here. So let me get my camera set up and I will show you what kind of readings you're going to get and which ones to test. Alright, so we're going to test the compressor. And I'm going to apologize right now. We have roosters and they will not shut up. As soon as I turn the camera on, all they're doing is crowing. And my daughter that was in a video a couple weeks ago or a month ago or something like that she's out there riding her power wheels right outside my garage and my garage is also right next to a road where cars always have the perfect timing to drive by right when I'm trying to do something so aside from all the noise let me show you how to test the pins on this compressor now the first thing we're going to do is start with the two bottom ones and the two bottom ones you're going to get a reading of right around 10 now this is brand new, so this compressor has never even been run. So we got 10 across the bottom two pins. They make like a little triangle, so we're going to go from left to the top one now. And we're going to get about 6, about 6 ohms. Now we're going to go from the top down to the bottom right. And we're going to get about 4, so about 4. And this is a, a brand new compressor. I didn't get any readings like this. If I was touching two pins together with my meter and I got a that reading, then the compressor is definitely shot. Now the reason you would want to do this test is if your refrigerator is not getting cold at all, but the freezer fan is running, but the compressor is not running, you would want to check to see if the compressor is bad. Now there's a bunch of other things you want to check after this, but you know, this is just how to test the compressor. There's a lot of people that send me, you know, messages saying, hey, how do I check the compressor? Well, this is why I'm doing it. The bottom two pins, you're going to get about 10. From the middle to the bottom left, right around 6. And from the middle to the bottom right, about 4. And that's a brand new compressor, so I'm going to use one that has been used for a while. Move him out of the way. And here's one that's used, so we're going to do the same test. Across the bottom. 10. There's the roosters. From the top to the bottom left, we're getting 6. And from the top to the bottom right, about four and these two compressors are perfectly fine if I were to take a relay wire it to a cord plug this in and plug it into my receptacle compressor kicks on and runs and go ahead let's hear it let's hear you making all that noise a little bit ago Oh, there you go. <laughs> Noisy son of a bitch. Alright, so let me walk you through the, the, the checks here real quick. You tested the pins, you got the same reading, but your compressor is not running. And this is, of course, you unplugged the refrigerator, you pulled the relays off, you tested the pins, the compressor checks okay. So that leaves testing the relays. Now what you would want to do at this point is plug your refrigerator back in make sure it's turned to a setting where it's 
you know, you hear the fan running in the freezer. So if you hear the fan running in the freezer, you know, the compressor should be running. Now with that running, you want to put your meter on volts AC and test these two wires. Now, if you're getting 120 volts to these two wires, but the compressor is not running, then you're going to need to replace the relays. Now I will tell you that these are relatively expensive for what they are. I've seen these go for, you know, 60, $70 just for you know this piece minus the capacitor and um, but they do make for like 10 or 20 bucks if you look for a three-in-one star capacitor for like a third horsepower it's a third or quarter horse it's they're for both I think it's a quarter and a third horsepower it's a three-in-one a three-in-one looks like a big D size battery that has basically two wires like this coming off one end that you would wire to the three and one and then it's got three little wires coming off the other side with a little chart that shows you exactly which terminals to put those on in your compressor and that's like a twenty dollar you know that that'll get your compressor fired back up and your refrigerator cooling again or if you want to spend the extra money and buy the factory replacements off of a you know website somewhere then you can do that too but I have you know in a pinch use the you know the twenty dollar three in ones I always carried those with me so I could fire the compressor up and check check the amperage you know most compressors when they run like those ones there when there's Freon in the system and those compressors are running they will run at about one amp or 1.1 1.2 amps so uh, that's just another alternative you can either replace them with the factory relays and spend 70 80 bucks on them or you can spend 20 bucks for a three-in-one like a universal and it's it's going to look way different than this but it will work i have used them before so there you go thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you